Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to go over the EG4 wall mount 314 amp hour indoor battery. Let's get into it. So the EG4 314 amp hour battery is EG4's latest iteration of their traditional wall mount batteries that were previously 280 amp hours. Uh, there are a few key differences and we're going to go over those today. So not only do they have one in the indoor version, but they also have an outdoor version as well. So the battery chemistry as always is lithium iron phosphate, the best leading chemistry on the market today. We've got a total capacity of 16 kilowatt hours or 314 amp hours, which is uh, a little boost from the traditional wall mount batteries. It's got a max continuous charge current of 157 amps. It's got a max continuous discharge current of 200 amps. But what is recommended is to leave that discharge current at 157 amps. Uh, it's got built-in over voltage overcurrent short circuit current, high or low temperature protection in that BMS. So it's got that integrated battery management system and it now includes active balancing, which is a new feature of this product, which basically monitors all the cells and makes sure that they're all at the same voltage um, so that uh, individual cells in, within the battery don't you know, get off uh, track. So this has got a smart battery management system so you can pair it with multiple different inverters with multiple different communication protocols to have that closed loop communication with your inverter. Uh, it's got now, this is a new feature, it's got these built-in normally open and normally closed contacts as well as a 12 volt terminal. So you can use that for things such as generator start, especially if you pair it up with the EG4 charge verter. Or you can use it for all kinds of stuff. These are built into a ton of different uh, items throughout the industry. A lot of people use uh, load shedding devices or things of that nature that can go off or alarms, or any custom trigger you want um, to, to kind of um, notify a third party component of the battery state of charge. It can be installed up to an altitude of 9,843 feet. It's got an operating temperature charging of 32 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got an operating temperature discharging at negative 4 to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're interested in one of EG4's 314 amp hour batteries, make sure to go down in the description below. Check out our affiliate links and coupon codes where you can stack on top of any other deals going on at this time where you could save even more money than you would normally. Also, if you're a DIYer feeling a little bit overwhelmed and needing a little bit more help on your installation, go to rockybroadsolar.com. Check out our ultimate DIY guide. It's a free download where you can uh, just go in there, click on the little button, download it. It'll give you a lot of nice, helpful tips and tricks on how to install your system in a code compliant manner. Get past that final inspection. So it's got your standard UL1973 listing. It is also UL9540 and UL9540A listed when paired with any of EG4's hybrid inverters. I believe the Flexbus 18 is, uh, is currently waiting full approval, but basically the Flexbus line, the 18KPV, um, all, all their hybrid inverters of EG4 can be paired with this battery and be UL9540A listed. I think it does have to, the batteries have to be at least six inches apart. Um, one thing to note, I kind of misspoke on a previous video about the 12,000 XP. So that is now UL9540A listed, but currently it's only listed with the 280 amp hour batteries. So if you're installing a 12,000 XP, an EG4's off-grid style inverter, and you need that UL9540A listing, you're going to want to stick to those 280 amp hour batteries until... Uh, this gets added to that listing. Warranty comes in at 10 years or up to 10,000 cycles, which is pretty standard for a lithium iron phosphate battery today. Uh, this sucker comes in at 293 pounds, so you better have eaten your Wheaties come install day. 
It's got a Wi-Fi connectivity directly to the battery, so it can receive over-the-air firmware updates. Uh, now, that is a new feature compared to the old versions as well. Uh, it also now has auto configuration, so you don't have to mess around with little dip switches like you used to in those 280 amp hour batteries. You just plug this sucker up and it auto detects uh, the system that it's paired up with. If you're looking to install an EG4 system on your home, go ahead down in the description below. Check out our full Flex Boss Grid Boss installation series. I think it's up around 17 videos at this point. It's going to give you very detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do every little step of the process in a code compliant manner, in a professional manner, coming from somebody that's been in the industry for over 15 years. Let's get back into it. Uh, another thing, we have lost the screen. So screens are, LCD screens are just a big failure point in the industry, which is why most manufacturers have removed them from their equipment. Um, I really love the fact that I've got them on my 280 amp hour batteries indoor. Um, but you know, Hey, they're not really necessary. And I think EG4 has just removed them to remove one more point of failure. Uh, there are rumors that there is a potentially on the horizon, a way that you can plug in an external LCD screen, similar to the way you do with the flex boss line inverters, but that I cannot confirm. Well, everyone, that's pretty much all we've got for today. As always, I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, take care.